We go deep, we do all the details, we make everything new, and, and that's what has attracted people uh, to our airplanes. We make them perfect, and, and uh, that's, what, that's our product. Uh, they come to us because they know our quality, so they already want that. These are uh, purchases of choice, not necessity, and, and they're treasured possessions. Well, one of the first things that uh, we do, invite them to come here and encourage them to come here so that they can see what the process is and, and, and they can see what we do and they see the depth of the quality. I, I can't think of a, a one customer we've had that didn't come here first. I think aesthetics are important to any collectible machinery, but with the stuff that we do, we want it to be as useful as it was the day they left the factory but also have the, the shine and the quality and the detail where somebody can walk up to it and, and say, wow, this is really a, an excellent example of this. And I think we've all walked up to airplanes and you can just tell that if, if the quality is seen all throughout, that you're, you're probably gonna have a good pilot experience in the airplane as well. You, you can trust the airplane, you can trust the, the mechanism because the high level of quality can be seen throughout, not just in individual portions of the aircraft. And the lines of the airplanes, you know, harken back to when they were created. They don't need a lot of trim to show that it has some design aesthetic. If we started putting really wild paint jobs on these airplanes, I think we'd be doing the airplane a disservice. You know, when you have six guys covering at once, it becomes a constant coordination to walk around and make certain that everybody is doing the same thing at the same point. And that, therein lies the challenge. If it was a guy working alone in his hangar, it would all look the same because one set of hands was doing it. But to have it look like one set of hands was doing the work when six or eight people are doing the covering, there, there's my challenge, my daily challenge. I've been involved in this type of work on some level my entire life. I, I, it started out dad doing an airplane for himself and the word got out and somebody wanted one like it so he said yeah I can do two. And it just went from there. Uh, day to day I tend to focus on sales, customer service, uh, maintenance on the airplanes and about uh, any excuse I can have to fly them. I have the opportunity to take the airplanes up for the first time when the guys finish one, which is pretty exciting. Bring them out, make sure the bugs are all gone, that they work as perfect as they look. It's a good gig. Best part of a family business is you can close the door and say whatever you want among each other. And the worst part about the family business is you can close the door and say whatever you want to each other. Relative to other businesses, we have a, just a really fantastic team of people that make it happen. You know, how lucky could one get? I get to work with my dad uh, every day and my brother every day and we all get to do what we'd like to do together. It's a pretty good deal. Our airplanes have real history and new standards. We've kind of coined the term or used the term often, remanufactured. So. There is really no old or frail parts left over in the airplane when we go through it. The nucleus or the core of what the airplane is, is real. It's still a 40s airplane or a 30s airplane. Part of what its story is is still there. So it's real history with new standards. And that's a big deal. Um, it's part of the energy of what the airplane is and it's part of what you feel when you go to fly it. Um, and you're turning that next page in the history books for that airplane with it as you own it. So I think these airplanes will continue to exist because they offer uh, experience that other airplanes don't. But when you're flying, whether it's a, a 
fresh cut grass or a farm. You, you can you can catch a whiff of that. Uh, the sound of the wires singing. You know, you dive and go really fast, they'll howl. When they stop slipping through the air and making that nice noise, you know, okay, I'm probably below 80 miles an hour and I'm, I'm slowing down. The feel, you get the elements, you're, you're set back a little bit and you've got this wing set out in front of you. You can look up and see the sky and just all around this great field of view. The rumble of the round engine, there's, there's no comparison. It just offers this complete and total experience and it's, it hits all your senses so hard the whole time. It's almost like it slows down time a little bit. Uh, it just, it's second to none for me. I believe it's just a very powerful experience and it's, I don't know, kind of an emotional level. Starting as a, as a kid, you know, 10, 12 years old, I built model airplanes. I had a bench in the basement or a bench or something up in the attic, depending on where we lived. And this is just, uh, this is just, this is my bench now. So it's, it's uh, just what I do and, and uh, I, I'd, uh, I don't know what else I'd do without it. I don't know. I don't. I don't recall sitting down actually teaching and say do this or that. But I suppose it came about. You know. You know, Dad. How do I do that? Or what do I do? I, I could probably help answer that question. You know, being a kid, you stand there and listen to your dad talk. And you know, airplanes happen to be fairly interesting. So as a kid, you just kind of. I was just watched, and Ben watched, and. And then you get old enough, and then you get your, here, hold this merit badge, yep. you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> you, we, you know, we would joke about that as kids. Is, did you work on your hold this merit badge this weekend with Dad? Uh, and he would need an extra set of hands, get a wing in and out of the booth, or pass a needle rib stitching or something. And this fascinating enough, or you kind of wanted to learn, you absorb it. It, 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 it would happen. Absolutely. It's, it's the future for, for my sons, and, and so... Uh, I don't think of this every day. I think we all think think of, of just wanting to do it right and wanting to be successful.